Good afternoon, everybody. This is James King L of Bob 609 Radio. Presently, we are at the Pleasantville High School. Um, it's the follow-up to the march they just had for the victims of the shooting. And at, at actually, where we are actually at right now, at the Pleasantville High School field. Um, can you please spin the camera around to show them the Pleasantville High School field? So um, right now is a day where a lot of people have came together to, to you know, show their show um, their concern about all these tragic situations that keep taking place. We don't never want to get used to this. We do not want to get used to this. You know, right now, my son is being consoled by his big brother because it hurts him to even hear such things. You know, this is, this is unfabulous. Very very sad situation. Yeah, brother Eric Muhammad. Also. Brother Zach made a solemn occasion. It's a shame. People come up with many good suggestions. They say good speeches. Two weeks, two months later, everything is dissolved and it's back to business as usual. We need to take these opportunities to make sure that we do something positive so that these things can go away. That we will be out here two months later. Uh, talking about the same thing with another young man that's gone away. We invite you to listen to our radio show tomorrow at 5, 6 or 9, every Monday from 6 to 7. Uh, King Salam and myself. And we assure you that we will be having a great time as usual. As you know, last week was the pilot. This week we're coming up with some more good subjects. But we're going to narrow to just one subject. So be tuned in, okay? We anticipate the audience. Thank you so much. Let's ask everyone, don't let this be our last meeting. Yeah. Is enough of us here? And I, and I appreciate the women. May, may God raise your status. You are strong. Mm -hmm. That's right. But it's time for black men. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We come from the streets. That's right. We come from those That's neighborhoods. Right. That's right. I'm looking for you to be on the front line. That's right. Really? That's right. Not just praying, not just talking. Yeah. We need action. Yes. All right. With that, I ask God to give us the strength to heal our community. To be warriors on the front line of social justice. To be people who understand that life matters, that humanity matters. God, give us the strength to be consistent. Give us the strength to know that we need one another, we need to love one another, we need to care for one another. We need to be the brother and sister that all of us are missing. Yes. We need to be the family that many of the youth are missing. Yes. We pray for our young brother who lost his life. We pray for those young brothers who don't realize that they lost their life as well. Yes. And we pray for the mothers on both sides who have lost their children due to the ignorance in our society. Yes. We pray that we come together and I beg you all to pray every night for the healing of our community, for the healing of these hearts, because our pain is going to last a long time after this event. But God has the strength. God has the power. God has the will. God has the knowledge. God has the ability. And God has the mercy and compassion and love to heal all of us. And we pray in his name. Amen. Amen.